Hi guys, Money Gaming here, hope you're well. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. If it is, please remember to hit that subscribe button and notification icon that let you know next time I'm doing a stream or an upload. Also, if you like what I'm doing, please chuck a like on there and a comment on what you particularly like. So with that said, let's get into this video. So, earlier, I had a bit of a, you know, sort of um wah moment. You know, I was just really wound up with Forza. It was um, just not doing what it should have done. There's a video about that. I've done it earlier. Go check it out. Tell me what you think. With that said, we're going to be doing the endurance race today. Um, now, I didn't do it straight away when it came up, just for the simple fact that I didn't have the time. I had no idea how long it's going to take for me to drive around Spa in a... Um, oh, what was it? Corvette, I think. So... I just left it because I was like, right, well, it's only part of the game. I can do pick that up anytime. But I thought, do you know what? It actually gives me a good thing to get on with while you guys are watching and while I'm watching the chat and trying to communicate with the subs. So, oh no, it's actually got me. Well, it's Spa. I'll tell you what, we'll finish this and then we'll see how far I can get into the, um, the endurance race. Or should I just quit out of this? What do we reckon? Should I quit out of this going endurance? I'm, I'm thinking that I'd prefer to just quit out of this and have a crack at the endurance. That might be quite fun. Um, these loading screens, man. What is going on with fours or seven? I just expected so much more in the terms of just instant gratification. <laughs> But I'm not going to race this one. No. Oh, it's going to already put me in it. No, I don't want to race. I want to get out of this. Yep. And I want to go do. Hello, Ali Jundo. Um, forgive me if I've pronounced your name wrong. I'm terrible with, with names. Hope you're okay. Thank you for joining us on Periscope. Right, so it was. Was it in? Where's the endurance? Must be in this one. So this is what I said I was going to do. So this is what I'm going to do. On goes the headphones, so I can actually hear what's going on with the car. Try and find the volume button for my TV. Turn the volume down. We don't want any more sound coming through there. You know, for me as a driver, when I look at race tracks and you know, I try to determine what I like about a track, what makes it iconic to me. You know, I think it's those particular corners for each track that that kind of just captivate you. You know, you go to Spa in Belgium, and you think about Eau Rouge. Everyone and it's knows just Eau Rouge. Captivating corner, you know, and and it's made it iconic for many many drivers and. Having driven there personally, you understand why it's so captivating and why it kind of transcends the whole track into a special place. So he's managed to spew all of that off. And we're still loading, guys. We're still loading. I mean, what's that all about? Here we go. All right. Chat's all sorted, I seem to be connected to everybody. Let's go. So I've no idea how many laps this is. I've never driven this car before. Um, one thing I do want to do is driver tar. Oh, hang on one second, I'm going to quit and I'm going to put the driver tiles on unbeatable because there is a um, driver tile difficulty. Let's put on unbeatable. Because right, this hopefully will make them drive cleaner. Um, 
I'm also driving with no assists, guys. Um, I don't like assists. I think they take away some of the fun. But uh, if you're hot lapping, braking line could be a good one. Oh, that's going to bug me. Oh, there we go. That's to calibrate the brake pedal then. Whoa. So we've got 23 laps. It's all right. Oh, he's pushing me for a rouge. How many of these guys are going to break, do we think? This handles quite well through there. Very heavy car. Hard to tell where you are in the rev range as well. Getting a lovely draft on that Bentley. I'm not sure what it's like on the brakes and the tyres are still quite cold, so off the throttle. Not looking to make up any places straight away. Just looking to wind the car up to decent warmth. Here we go. Oh, back end starting to slide a bit. Don't really want to go any lower than third in a car like this. That felt like good drive. I do quite like Spa. It is a it's a circuit that rewards you for being brave. And just sort of hanging it out there. What I don't like is the gears on this car. They're not giving me enough information about... Oh! Almost ended up in a sand pit there. Aston Martin's starting to get away from me, but never mind, I'll catch him. His tyres just need to warm up before I can start driving a bit more aggressively. And I need to also learn when this gear changes. Catching the pack up, I'm guessing they all sort of... There was an accident up ahead or something, they all slowed down. Because that was... Oh, that was good. Too far back to make a pass here. Car straighten herself up. I would have preferred to have done it in a GT3 RS to be fair. Trying to avoid as much contact as I can. Again, straightening the car at first, still in 15th place. As we come down to Eau Rouge for the second time. Chasing this Aston Martin, is he going to break? I always have to back off because I can never never tell. Oh, got all sorts of out of shape, going to give him the place back. There we go. I'll rob him of that place fair and square, ladies and gentlemen. I was, I was two thirds up that car. He had no... No reason to put in on me. That was fair and square. He should have given me space and he didn't. Now the tyres are a bit warmer. I'm going to be a bit braver. And use second gear a little bit to try and get a better drive off the corners. Oh, bit of a drift there. Here we go, here we go. Tyres are starting to come in nicely now, I think. This one punishes you if you go wide. He's unbeatable AI. Whoa. Big moment there. These guys have slowed down. Almost handing me the places here. 
up into 13th. And I've got a good run on them here. That was lovely. Lovely overtake there. Mirrors full of the other Corvette. Run deep. Oh. Lambo wanted to get in on the action as well. I went deep. I was too busy looking in my mirrors. Off the throttle because these guys are always... Oh, he forced me then. There was nowhere for me to go. Tuck him behind, try and get a dra draft off him. Some good racing with these unbeatables. Oh. I'm not looking, I'm not feeling for where my brake is. I'm looking at the bar for some reason. I never do that and I don't know why I've suddenly started doing it. He's trying to dive down the inside there. Can't let that happen. Oh. Very aggressive that, but you know, rubbing his racing. If I'm trying to control the drift, drifting isn't the fastest way around these corners. Not doing bad against these unbeatable AI. Three laps out of 23 and I'm into 14th position. Could be much worse than that. Do keep an eye idea on fuel and tyres as well. Rolling it around these corners. Feel a little bit more confident in this car now. Starting to actually enjoy driving it. It'd be nice if I knew when to change gear because that but it does that. It allows them to get a bit of a run on me. didn't get my new pedal set today which is a bit unfortunate. I was hoping to be doing this with a brand new T3PA Pro set but uh, no T3PA Pro turned up today. Right let's try breaking a little harder this time. Right so I need to break a little bit earlier. My breaking point is not right. So Being brave for O'Rouge. Oh, he shut the door. I had to go wide. He's not getting that back. That was a blatant blocking move. Intercept gear down the straight. Whoa. Pushing the car probably a little bit too hard and it got all sorts of out of shape there. There we go. It does look like I'm a bit of a cork in a bottle if you look at the map down there. I just don't know how fast I can push this car currently and it's that gear change I don't know when to change that gear it's so frustrating he's gone for a late dive down the inside I've had to try and cover him off feeding that throttle in all this defending I'm doing is just letting the front group get away Those gear changes are costing me massively.
You've got a good driver for that, Apex. Lit those back wheels up then for a second. It's going to probably take me a few laps to get this guy up ahead. Come on, come on Muddy, we can do this. Five laps, almost a quarter of the way through. There we go. Just making sure I don't put too much steering lock in. Wasn't good. It does look like I'm catching the guys ahead though. Oh, gone wide there. This is a lot of fun actually, driving against these uh, unbeatable driver tires. Not the car I would have chosen, if I'm honest. There we go. Actually nailed it that time. Probably could have been faster in, but didn't want to risk it too much. Uh, it's a tough turnover, Eugene. This car just doesn't have the downforce to deal with it, unfortunately. Here we go. doesn't grip very well. I'm, not, I'm enjoying the car, it's just every time I start to get into a s sort of a flow, it just drops me. So apparently I am not the cork in the bottle. Go. Here we go, here we go. I've got a lot of, a lot of uh, distance to make up. A lot of distance to make up. Oh. That won't help. Oh, seem to be catching them. Do seem to be catching them. Welcome to the chat.
try and catch these guys. Tyres are starting to uh, be a bit worn. That might be why it's uh, not having quite so much grip. Lift through Eau Rouge, can't go flat out of there, nowhere near in this Corvette. Carry the speed through. Catching G Espinto. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, making loads of ground up on him. Just nursing that throttle through that section really worked out a treat. This, this is a horrible bend, this one. Oh, bit of a drift there. Starting to make up quite a bit of space or distance on these guys. Oh, why did I touch the brake? I didn't need to. Just unsettled the back of the car a little bit too much. I'm loving the feedback I'm getting through the race wheel at the moment. Definitely making ground up on these guys. Straighten her up, then foot down. Come on. Missed the apex that time. It's okay though, as long as I don't try too hard, I should be fine. And we definitely made some ground up here. Definitely made 516 feet. Here we go. Against these unbeatable driver tars. Yo, how you doing, man? You good? Whoa. That's what happens when I look at the chat. How you doing? You good? Thank you for checking me, checking in. get myself together. One second. Oh, I've lost all that ground doing that. What have you been up to, buddy? Oh. not got your copy of Forza yet. That's a bit of a joke, mate. Who'd you order it from? Amazon.
That felt good, that felt good. Oh, you live in Egypt. That was good. Why is it so slow, dude? Fair enough. I thought Egypt to be like anywhere else in the world, do you know what I mean? I don't I don't really know a lot about geography or how the cities in Egypt and stuff are like, so Big oversteer moment there and there. I am much closer on this start finish straight though. I'm driving a Corvette. But it's not very good, it's not a bad car, it's just, oh, I messed up that. Uh, it's not the greatest, if I'm honest. I'm against uh, unbeatable driver tars. And I am slowly catching them. Believe it or not, I caught these guys up earlier and passed them. There we go. Oh, he blocked me there. Tires are getting very warm. One second, mate. I haven't had time to properly read your last message. I'll read it in a second. A bit intense right now. I've got a better traction. Whoa, whoa, that's not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> Does look a bit like the uh, Lotus, doesn't it, yeah. Bit of a lock up there, tyres are getting a bit old. A little bit old. Oh, that's how you do Eau Rouge. That is how you do Eau Rouge. 
That was lovely. It's great I'm having to work this hard to get through the pack. One second mate, I'm in the wrong part of the track to look down at what you just read. Um, loading times are starting to wind me up quite a bit. I did just do a recent uh, video on my channel. Um, best thing would be, uh, well, for the Xbox One version at least, the best thing is the false feedback that I'm getting through my race wheel and the weather effects maybe. I'd say they're probably the two best things. As I get a good drive off it, he comes very defensive. Trying to carry some speed around the outside, no chance. Oh, oh, come on. Fuck you. Yeah. Bad sportsman. The driver tires need to be a bit more real as well, to be honest. Look, just. I outbroke him and he decides just to hit me because of it. Graphically, it's beautiful. Right, let's try and get O'Rouge right again, shall we? Right. Breaking in the middle of O'Rouge. He's got a death wish. Yeah, I mean, there isn't a lot of negatives, so just there's a few things that wind me up. Go. I will keep looking down every now and then to see what you're saying buddy but as you can see it's quite intense driving against these unbeatable driver tires. Oh. Um, I like a Seto Corsa. Graphically, it's better than a Seto Corsa. I'd say that the uh, the weight in the wheel feels better. My tyres are so old, but I don't want to pit before anyone else. I don't want to do that and uh, miss out on an opportunity. Uh, no, I want to learn though.
That was my corner, bitch. Get off. And he's still there. He should have conceded that place a long time ago. Back end starting to want to come away. Both get quite a good drive off of there. That McLaren's a lovely looking car. Alright, come on. Come on, Muddy. Come on. He's gone defensive again. Let's try and go around the outside. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I've gone deep. They are very, uh, very, very angry driver tires, aren't they? I think everyone's tires are starting to go off a little bit now. Because even they are missing apexes. He went for a late defensive move there, didn't he? Looks like another McLaren up ahead. I love this game. It winds me up sometimes, but I do love it. That was a controlled power slide then. Tyres are not loving me for doing that, I can tell you that. Really ring in the neck. Hey, Solo. I oh, mate, I had such a bad experience with Project Cars 1. I don't know if I'm going to touch Project Cars 2. Ever. Understeer, understeer. Wherefore out thou understeer? Uh, I use another PC to broadcast. I use software called OBS uh, Open Broadcast Studio. I might pick it up then, as you have suggested it. So close, up into sixth position. Not really clean overtakes there, but I need to finish this in first to get the achievement. 
for beating unbeatable driver Tars in first. Try and roll it through the corners. That McLaren wasn't happy that I'd done that. Just looking to shove it down the inside there. Oh, got a little bit wide. One second, I'll give you a, that's a, a lot you've just written in that box and I'm not gonna have the time to read it, buddy. Not in, not in that short amount of time I've got to look at the screen through these sections. Just give me a second. Because I'm literally wringing the neck out of this. Now if it was directed at Solo, that's all good, buddy. I love it when my sub subscribers start talking to each other. Okay, it means I can catch up when I'm uh, going for a pit stop or something. <sighs> Handful of oversteer there. 42% tyre wear. What have we got here? Oh, I'm loving this car in this track. When I get the when I get the corners right, oh, so just lovely. Oh, he's had to break. He went out a little wide in the uh, GTR there. Do try and drop that Ferrari. Tires are definitely not as grippy as they were at all. Ferrari came from absolutely nowhere. How's the stream coming through, guys? Is it good quality? Thank you very much. Fifth position, I'm not doing bad. I could make this. I've got six laps left to make up four places. Had to take a void in action there. Massive overspeed compared to him. Oh, I've gone deep. That's going to compromise this. It's okay, it's okay. Back on the line, back on the line. Perfect, there we go.
few more of those perfect turns would be nice. Oh. Maybe ringing it a little bit too hard there. A GTR caught me up and I uh, lost a bit of time. Or is the BMW just having a bit of trouble? Miss the apex. This is intense, you know. Very intense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That GTR has got some serious speed there, but he just can't take a corner. Running out of laps to get this done, guys. Running out of laps to get this done. Come on. Little lift. There we go. Nice clean pass. They would all be like that if they didn't break in the middle of A Rouge. Next up, second place. Go. Oh, there's some back markers up ahead. That might play well into my hands. Back marker going way off track. And blocking second. You're blocking second all over the place here. Back marker went flying off the track. Tires are on the verge of dying now. You can hear him just wanting to give up, but this close to the end, I can't pit. Not if I want to take these two positions. Helps when I'm in the correct gear as well. No, 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 no. A little wheel spin, as little wheel spin as possible. 55%. Completely messed that up then. Didn't want to be in fifth. Come on. Come on. Had to outbreak him, that was really difficult. Now we're chasing down third, guys. We're chasing down third. First, sorry, first. Come on, Muddy, keep it together. Oh, 
Oh, that felt good. That was good. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to be looking at the chat for a minute, guys. I'm just concentrating on... Trying to catch this guy. What is he in? Is that a Jaguar? Because that is quick. How quick is it though? He's far enough ahead that he's not going to compromise my run through Rouge. It will all be my fault. No, that was fine. And I should be carrying some good speed now. I am carrying some good speed. I'm really new and with three laps to go. Hardly any tyres and low on fuel. Made up some ground through those corners for sure. hear his car so close to him missed that apex but it doesn't matter so much come on come on come on come on come on it feels like I'm gaining millimeters per corner Back's getting really twitchy now. Trying to pressure this Jag into making a mistake. I could very easily make a mistake myself, so. There we go. We have dropped third position. Interestingly, he's made his uh, blocking move to the outside there. Here we go, here we go. Oh, beautiful. That felt so good. Did that look good, guys? Did that look good? That felt like a good pass to me. Whoa, that was uncalled for. Well, he just put himself out of contention. I now just have to drive a race. And control the pace. As I'm stretching my legs against these uh, unbeatable AI with no assists in an endurance race around Spark. I'm feeling quite happy with myself. Let's try not to push too hard. Just enjoy the track. Two more laps after this. Definitely going to be getting pressured by that Maserati. Any little mistake is going to be all over my ass. Let's 
He's already looking to try and dive down the inside there. Did you see that? Having to be really gentle with the car now. It doesn't have a lot of grip. The steering wheel is really light. Oh, he's going down the inside. I've got no answer for him. Oh, I had to go wide. He put his car in a position that was going to take us both out if I didn't sort it. Someone's darted off into the pits. Fourth place has darted off into the pits. Line it up, line it up. I think I might just have enough tyres until the end, potentially. Oh, big moment for Eau Rouge there. Huge moment. <laughs> Very surprised the chat's so quiet solo. And um, Merritt, are you still there? This has been an intense 22 laps so far against these unbeatable AI. Oh, What's the hint? Oh no, mistake, I've made a mistake. Oh, that could have been all so wrong. My foot is flat to the floor. No grip. Right. I'm hoping that's enough fuel to get round. Should be enough fuel to get round. Oh, how you doing, guys? Having a bit of a Sebastian Vettel moment over the top of my rouge there. There should be enough fuel. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a catch, what a catch. That was full lock. That was full lock in the wrong direction that was to try and catch that. Doing all right, guys. We're doing all right. Oh, fuel's gone on to orange.
Now, if any of you guys watched my stream the other night, I got to lap 20 and ran out of fuel around Le Mans because I took this risk. But I'm looking at that fuel gauge thinking, this car hasn't drunk a lot over 23 laps. So, as Muddy Gamer comes up to the final two corners, unbeatable endurance spa <laughs> I take it you're a Hamilton fan as well buddy good man good man uh, I'm gonna save that replay Just proof that that was unbeatable driver title difficulty right there. Save replay. I like that. That, I'm going to watch the replay back. Ah, oh, mate, Bottas just isn't... He's, he just isn't up to par, though. When you're half a second off Hamilton, more often than not, what's going on there? <laughs> That'll do. Unbearable. I like that. Yeah, I don't really rate Bottas. I think he's another Hakey Cove lineman, if I'm honest. I think he um, he has all the potential, but he has none of the delivery. He did. He's a great team player. I just don't rate him as good as... A, he's nowhere near the calibre of Jensen, well not Jensen Bunn, uh, a Lewis Hamilton or a Fatel or a Max Verstappen or a Daniel Ricciardo. He's not on the same level. It's clear. You go look at it. This year the Ferrari has been the fastest car when it hasn't had a problem. They're, they've had reliability issues. The Ferrari has been the fastest car. The second fastest is a Mercedes. Uh, third would be arguably, arguably sorry, the uh, Red Bull or Force India. It, de it depends on what tracks you're looking at for them to, but third fastest would be that. If you put Bottas in any of the top three car manufacturers and you put any of the top five other drivers in the same car next to him, they will beat him. That's what I mean. Where's my VIP bonus, motherfuckers? Nah, Alonso's toxic, man. Alonso's like a little baby. Great driver, but toxic as you like. Ooh. I'm not going to spend credits. Oh, I thought I was going to get another one then. Yeah, Alonso's great, but he's just toxic for a team. Completely toxic for a team. Yeah, a win is a win. You're right, but... Um, I don't mean... He's not... Yeah, but his savagery is not necessarily a good thing. Um, what have we got in the GT? I think it disrupts the flow of a team and therefore it can ruin the dynamic and therefore stop a team from winning. Look what he did at uh, McLaren. Kimi Raikkonen 
he's only a world champion because when Alonso and Hamilton were together, they infighted so much that they lost races. And Alonso just went, uh, not Alonso, Raikkonen just went along picking up the points. Continually picking up the points while they were DNFing and falling over themselves and getting into arguments and not sharing data and it was stupid. They were like two little schoolboys. And you, so you can't put people of the same high caliber. I mean, I didn't really like Nico Rosberg. Um, I thought he was a, like a sneak. He was uh, he would do cheeky stuff like breaking in, um, out breaking himself in Monaco purposely to make sure the yellow flags were out because Lewis was on a better lap. Uh, but that's a world champion mentality, isn't it? And although he didn't win through that, he eventually did because Mercedes had one DNF last year, um, and that was on Hamilton's car. Apart from the one where they took each other out, I believe. So when there was an extra DNF, it was Ham Hamilton should have been should be a four-time world champion now if it wasn't for Mercedes' engine blowing up last year. He was leading Malaysia by 25 seconds or something. Oh look, it's Spa again. P-Class. Oh, cold tyres. And two laps. Oh ho. Gonna break. Yep. Oh, I don't want to. I don't really care about beating these guys fair and square. He's driving into me. The endurance was the important one for me. One second, mate. I'll read that picture and um, that post in a second. I just, I've got two laps, and I'll be out. That's quite a large post for me to just glance down at. Dan, is it Dan or Dean? I can't see. I just saw a D. Welcome to the channel, by the way. If, so, if you can answer him solo, can you answer him for me if it's a question that you're able to answer? Yeah, I just looked at Stan. Welcome. No, um, I actually prefer their new dash cam, but when you're driving like these P-Class cars, you get a lot of reflection on the windscreen. This is my preferred view. Because it just feels more real. I've got the race wheel set up in the middle and stuff. This is a heavy bastard car, I can tell you that.
I hate the fact that oh get off I hate the fact that they do uh, what you call it brake checking I hate the fact that driver tires do that <laughs> I didn't work. I don't usually drive like that, by the way. I just wanted to get this race over and done with. Oh, I'll start it again. I'm going to reduce the driver tar difficulty just because over two laps you can't actually um, drive to win with driver tars that are un unbeatable. I think two laps is just not quite enough on a, a course like that, if I'm honest. I'm, are, you, are you enjoying the stream though, Dan? That's that's what because I'm enjoying mostly Forza. I have chucked a video up, venting my frustration a bit at some things, um, but yeah, I generally do like Forza. I love the game um, since Forza Two. I'm going to drop this right down to above average just so I can get it out of the way because I don't need the credits really. Um, and as I said, two races is. Would you consider subscribing, Dan? <laughs> I'm aiming to try and get a thousand subs. I'm really working hard at it. Oh, come on. I knew that wasn't going to go well, but I just had to go for it anyway. Whoa. It's going to be tight through here. Oh. oh, it's just... Sorry, guys. Right, Muddy, concentrate. You're a better driver. You've just done 23 laps without a massive off at all around Spa, and now I'm doing this. Oh, that'd be awesome, mate. I'll, uh, I'll put... Are you, if you, have you got a channel? Have you? Have you? Have you? Did you see the excitement in my voice then? Such a child. <laughs> Please, sir, send me some subs, sir. No, Oliver. More? Oh, come on. Did you just watch my 23 laps um, around Spa a moment ago, Dan? Hey, Gazzy, you're back. The man, the myth, the compulsive masturbator. How's your cup of tea, Gaza? <laughs> One second, I've got to read this chat because I'm trying to look over. Uh... Oh, mate, Dan, do it and do it with Unbeatable. I think it took me to watch your stream back because I, like, I started the stream doing it. If you've got the time and you're interested, watch your stream back. If you manage to beat them un on Unbeatable and having 23 laps around Spa gives you that opportunity to uh, beat them on merit, not just chuck it on Daytona and do a circle with a fast car, um, you get an achievement for doing it, um, which is quite nice. Um, yes, Hamilton should definitely be a four-time world champion by now if his engine didn't blow. Um, what else are we looking at here? Sorry, guys. I've had to pause it to catch up. Uh, so, have you got your own channel as well, then, uh, Dan? I take it.
It was, it was Malaysia his engine blew up, not um, Japan, I believe. This is the first year of Japan being back on the calendar, isn't it, Suzuka? Or is it the last... Oh. I didn't think we had Suzuka last year. Oh, I may be wrong. How many subs you got, buddy? I'll put you in my suggested channels. I'll have a look. Wow, 3,000 subs, mate. Well, I, I've been working on my channel on and off for a couple of years now as well. Um, I found actually doing streams really really helps because I get guys like you who probably wouldn't have found my channel popping in and having a chat with me and getting along I've got people like Gaz and oh, Gazza and Solo regulars that now have a way of talking to me that's not just dropping me a message so uh, I can recommend streaming to try and help grow it as I said if you uh, if you chuck me up in your suggested or something I'll do the same for you All us motorsport racing channels, good try and stick together, right? Because all we really need is one decent sized YouTuber with like, say, 10,000 subs or something to see our stuff. Join, join our stream and then, then you suddenly get a massive influx, do you know what I mean? As soon as people know about you, that's 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 when this all come becomes a lot more fun. There's more people to talk to, and the guys that have been your your go-to guys, your go-to subs, they, they then become a bigger part of the channel because they end up being like almost moderators of the chat. Where are you from, Dan? Are you UK based? I mean, Solo and Gaza are, 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 are pretty, pretty good subs of mine. To be fair, they, they are always jumping in a chat whenever they can. Oh, cool. So, what I was going to say is we can try and work out something, if you like. Um, where Do you use a race wheel as well? Because we could do... Um, uh, you are the best, Gaz. You are the best. Anchor. If you, you're you ordering my racing stuff, if you order it through my affiliate link, I'll get something out of that. So, uh, oh, the chair in the rear frame. Oh, I thought you were getting the whole shebang again. <laughs> Ah, right. So, Le Mans circuit. Uh, how many laps have I got? I quite like Le Mans. Uh, driver tire so you can increase that. Ah. What setup have you got, Dave? What about you, guys? Have you got a racing setup at all?
I would show you my full setup, Dave, but I'm actually wearing my Spider-Man lounge pants. Check that shit out. Spider-Man lounge pants. So you can look at your missus and then say, my spider sense is tingling, right? <laughs> Oh, that's 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 horrible, mate. Oh, mate, the GT Omega carpet rug I haven't got, which I'll actually want as well, because but you know, it's not the end of the world. I'll, it's only something to go under here to make it a little bit cosier. Um, don't. As far as I, I, I've experienced, don't bother with Forza on the PC, because it's just a ball ache. You're the first person I know that's actually going to bother driving, uh, driving, buying the Xbox One X. I'm not going to. Two reasons now. First being, I've got a more powerful PC than the Xbox One X. The second being, they've made it such an arsehole job for me to play it on the PC that they want me to buy their uh, Xbox One X. Oh, no. Pay attention, Maddie. No, I'm not going to do that. So, I tried setting it up earlier. Do you use a race wheel, Dan? If you use a race... Uh, like, uh, So, I've got a GTX... 1070 yeah i can imagine the carpet will finish it off to be fair maybe i'll get that for christmas um you've got the you'll get the xbox x as well i i just can't warrant i just can't warrant that money no what have i done do you want to press that button oh i was so flabbergasted by two people in my chat getting the xbox one x that i accidentally quit out of my race Yeah, it's the same wheel as I got. Did you... Ah, uh, Dan, you might be interested. Is yours quite a new wheel? If it's not, then there's a potential overheating problem that you could get from the um, the power pack. And I've done two mods to my uh, TX race wheel. Hmm. Maybe, Dan, me and you need to have a, uh, a Skype chat. And, all, and you can help me set up my Forza on the PC. Because at the moment, I'm pretty dismayed at it, if I'm honest. I wanted to try and do that today. To do the Forza uh, piece, play it on, on PC. And I've got 16 gig of graphic, um, of uh, gaming RAM. And I've also got um, a 1070. So I should be able to play it with good frame rate, etc. But I've got to go through all my settings and sort all my settings out for that. And I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest, when it comes to doing graphic settings on a computer. Because uh, I just don't bother. I just turn my Xbox on. And if I'm playing a set of Corsa, I bang it all on Ultra and it runs fine. Bear in mind, I've only played a set of Corsa twice and I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. But now me and Forza are like peas and carrots again. Oh, so, uh, what wheel settings do you use? Because um, there's been a few different ones and uh, basically the standard... Uh, I paid about... 260 I think 270 for it before bit miners hiked the price of their cards up but they weren't expensive now they're like 400 quid or something stupid like that have you got the um, the T3 the TH8A shifter um, Dan and Solo, are you getting the T3 
PA Pro pedals because mine are on the way. They should have turned up today. I'll have a look at that, buddy. I'll have a look at that. You look at some of my videos, I'll look at some of your videos. Deal? Sounds good to me. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's the truth. I know you're sitting there laughing, guys. Get involved. Stop that wheel spill in, in its tracks. Oh, I didn't. Oh, no grip, no grip. No grip. I can see absolutely nothing. What are you breaking for, you stupid man? Oh, come on, sticky curbs. I like that effect, that's pretty cool. But. There is not a straight line, uh, a dry line appearing behind them, and oh, this is the high speed one. This is not good for me. This car's not that fast. Um, there's no spray when you get up close. You're not getting covered in spray. Look. No. One wheel in the gravel. The o another problem I've got with this game's cockpit view like this is where the hell are my mirrors? And why did they not give us VR support? One second. Uh, yes, TX T3A Pro THA. So I've got the GT. I've got the GTE rib. Uh, that is therefore a waste of second of your. Quote generator. What's that all about? High quote generator. <laughs> uh, I'll check your vids. I also added you as a friend of the channel section. Oh. Thank you very much. I'll do the same. I'll find a way of setting that up and I'll do the same. What else have I missed out on? Because, you know, sometimes it just gets a little bit much. Cool. Perfect. Right, let's get back into the game. I'm all caught up now. I'm all caught up. Whoa. Is there any other effects in the game, Dave, that I'm not, not not seeing because they're not in the Xbox One, that they are in the uh, PC version? Like dry lines appearing behind the cars, etc. Because it just annoys me, it's a bit of a pet peeve, that they've put um, wet weather in, like they did in Forza 6, which is great, but then when the cars are going over the water, they don't dissipate it, it just stays there. And the and the track miraculously dries up.
Oh, why did you break there? Bloody imbecile. I'm hoping that's something they modify in the future because to be fair what is the point of having dynamic weather if you don't have real dynamic weather and effects yeah I mean look at the, the, the rain on the windscreen yeah that's good but it's it doesn't change no matter how fast or slow you're going or what's in front of you or anything it's just it's just there whereas it should be like unbelievably difficult now and lines running up the but it's not oh come on Ah! I like that. You see the puddle come up, yeah? No water of the windscreen from that puddle. What was he? When was he turning for that? There was no need to turn then. Do you do streaming on your? Uh page much at all Dave and Solo and Gazzy you've gone very quiet are you going to get a race wheel Gaz no That could have cost me the whole championship, that little mess up at the end there. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Down the inside! <laughs> that was opportunistic at best. Opportunistic at best. How did you find the channel, Dan? I'm just interested, obviously. Solo and Gazza, are you still there? Boom! How random. I wonder what I've done to make it pop up in your feed. Oh, I didn't want to buy that car. That's all right then. I might have to get the back mono because I love a back mono. Yeah, but I'm really small still, and I'm only like 305 subs, I think. So I didn't think I'd get any sort of exposure at all. 
oh, so close to finishing the Evolution Championship. Alright, so what have we got now? I've got half hour. Evolution open. Let's do that. And I will use... How's that? Got more than the charger. 2000 horsepower. Um, is that Ford? Mm, that was quite a good car, actually. But. Uh, Don't really know what to drive. I've got a life sub count. It should be in the uh, bottom left hand corner. One second, I'll just check. I can't see because I've only got one screen, so I have to go between. Yeah. Um, live YouTube sub count 308. People, can you see that? It should be uh, right there somewhere. <laughs> and then you've got up there, add me on Xbox. So you can add me on Xbox as well, buddy, over there. And then YouTube, and then I've got a club that I've made um, called Team Muddy. Uh, I can make it larger. I just didn't want to take away from. I, 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 it's the first time I've actually really tried. Whoa, my TV's just gone. First time I've really tried um, streaming and actually bringing people to the channel because um, for a long time I just put videos up and didn't really push it. Um, and since I pushed it, I've gone up 40 subs. So I must be doing something right. But I was a bit worried that by putting too much stuff on the front of it, I would uh, get in the way of the game and people would not be enjoying it. So I stopped. What races uh, da, 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 open? Luxury sports? No, no. Do you know what? I'm going to have a bit of fun with that. Flying Lizard. Oh, 9.36 over here. It's almost time for bed. Hence me being in my lounge pants. Oh, Rio, Rio, Rio. Oh, short circuit as well. So... How... How many laps is that? Eight, did it say? I'm in no hurry to beat this at the moment now. It was just I wanted to get off of that, so... Uh, it's in assists, it's in assists, race length, let's just give it an extra, a little bit. This may well be my last, vid um, my last race of the stream, depending on the length of the race. If you, uh, if you fancy giving me some feedback on some of my videos, mate, that'd be brilliant. That would uh, really help. And I'll do the same on some of yours. I'll comment on them and stuff. And that'll also make you more visible to my subscribers. If you get involved with them chatting, they'll, they'll no doubt have a look at your channel as well. 
Can't see shit in that screen view. Oh, that gap's got my name all over it. Cold tyres, cold tyres. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he shuts the door. I knew that was going to happen. What is going on? 17 laps. This is an endurance race again. It's quite frustrating when they do that. This Audi has got tons of grip. Look at that. What doesn't help is when you go over that bump and it almost takes off. Alright buddy, one second. Yeah, I'm going to have to run my friend. Nice finding you. I'll give you a shout out in one of my next videos. I'm sub, so I'll keep an eye out for your streams and check your vids out. Mate, you're a gentleman. I'll do the same for you. Um, well, you've been shouted out multiple times. Dan's racing and simulation, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching the stream. Go check him out and uh, chuck him a sub and say hi from Muddy. Um, if you found him through me. But yep, Dave, you, you've you've got a shout out. You've been mentioned multiple times, and I will definitely talk about you in coming videos about I don't know, don't know maybe coalitions and stuff. Coalitions, yeah, whatever they call it. We work together. Um, so thank you for stopping by, mate. Much appreciated that you've subbed to me and uh, put me in the side of your channel. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, buddy. I'm going to keep racing now. But yeah, I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh, that hard work, now I'm done. Solo, are you still there, buddy? You've gone all quiet. I miss you. And Gaz, Gaz, where have you gone? That little jump there, don't half unsettle the car. Oh, a lovely little overtake there. Too far back to do anything here. Oh, it's just so grippy. I can't wait for my new pedals. They're going to be amazing. <laughs> like threading through the eye of a needle. I mugged them too. Massively. Inside or outside? Whoa! What are you doing breaking? You just need to roll through it. Stop being so aggressive. against that Bentley. It's only a little little track so mm. 
Mali 617. You're mine. Hi to my viewers on Twitch, you're being very quiet tonight. Don't be shy. Oh, don't ride the wall, Muddy. What are you doing, you fool? Oh, he's gone too deep. Whoa! That could have been a whole lot worse. I was in the wrong gear to try and take that corner at that speed. That was the second gear corner, Muddy. Stupid Muddy. <laughs> this is clearly one of the better cars. Look at that. <sighs> Making mistakes left, right, centre, but this is a been. It has been quite a long stream tonight, if I'm honest. This car, this car's a lot of fun. Hopefully, guys, I'll have my T3PA Pro pedals tomorrow. Oh, I took so much more speed in than him. <laughs> Back end got a bit lively. He's right alongside me, he's ahead. Oh no, I was trying to be cheeky and do the under, the undercut. Not the undercut as in pit stop, but the old switcheroo, like that. Unsettle the back end and point the front end. Seven more laps and then I'm done. No, about seven minutes. As you just heard, guys, this is going to be my last race because the uh, the wife has just summoned me to the room of bed. And there is no nicer way to go to bed than to be summoned by your wife. <laughs> that was fun. Let's 
trying to unsettle the back to try and get a drift there, but that wasn't going to happen. Here we go. So much grip in this Audi. use this view. I really can't. That's what happens when I try and use a different view. Oh well, five laps to get that back. Those planes are pretty cool, you know, look at them. Come on. <laughs> that was lovely. Bye bye, second place. Sayonara. Oh. Four more laps. This car, you can just throw it about, it's so much fun. So much fun, guys. Get yourself this car, it is amazing fun. Especially on the race wheel. Front tyre is starting to take a bit of a pounding. That inside left at the back as well. Inside left. The rear left is uh, starting to look a bit tasty as well. Two more laps to go. <laughs> no grip. Look at those front tyres. Ah. 
Absolutely no grip from the front tyres. Look at that. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for me to, tonight, so thank you for joining me for this stream. If it's your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the uh, notification icon and you'll know next time I'm doing an upload or I'm streaming. Usually I do a stream on a Friday evening, but that's not always, depending on whether I've got work on the Saturday. So, I've been Mighty Gamer, I hope you've enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Take care guys.